Welcome. This is Crimey Queen. If you are joining us for the first time, this is the channel where we get excited about love. I certainly do. I get excited with words and numbers, numerology to be precise. Well, of course, as much as um, other things in life too. Okay, but this is uh, Mother Eve. I get excited about Mother Eve because I have been revisiting um, Genesis of the Holy Bible of chapter one. It seemed to have been taking me like three years to read chapter one of Genesis because every time I revisit this chapter I'm discovering something new and okay so this time I think that what I'm seeing not think what I am seeing is uh it's as if this God in chapter one of Genesis is replicating human beings or replicating the earth or doing something new, doing something new. So it's as if to say light and darkness and all of those things had existed, whether in the Maya or um, in the waters, because of course, waters is a reflection. And so that's what I am sensing. But this is particularly um, strong in Genesis of chapter 1, verse 20. Now I'm going to take my classes to read this because um, this is really how oh, I do this, because of course. Um, and it says, and God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creatures that have life. Meaning that would, that would um, give the impression that there was life in the waters already. It's not saying, for instance, bring forth abundantly moving creatures, the moving creatures that have life. So they had life already. So in the water was already life. And the fowl that they may, and it says and fowl, that they may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. Okay, of heaven. And of course, we have also learned about um, heavens. So this is one heaven here. Now, when, why are we getting heaven, one place, and God created heaven and, and earth in six days? But then if we were to um, read, for instance, um, Psalm 8, it does state the word heavens, and it's not only in Psalm 8, but I do like Psalm 8 for whatever reason, I can't explain, um, but I know it says heavens. Um, for instance, let's again, let's look at this. I am getting the clear impression to say, and let the waters bring forth abundantly creatures that have the creatures the creatures that have life is to say they already exist and further than it says and god created great whales it's like saying all the creatures came out and he's saying okay now i see what it's like as if god was a great scientist or something like that that's the impression i am getting now and saying, okay, I'm going to replicate this one, the great whales. So create something new. Sometimes it does feel like I am stepping over the mark in my comments, in my um, thinking, because it's that kind of um, 
it's embedded or ingrained in my psyche to some extent. Well, who are you to question anything or make any um, other um, meanings out of those um, words apart from that which you have been taught? And so I have to, it's like I'm pushing the boundaries a bit and hoping that God will forgive me because of course I am made in his image and likeness and will understand that um, yes that being Eve for instance or oh, the child of Eve thou or he created me in his image and likeness therefore I am acting on his um, disposition of what he has created me to be or his likeness. So I'm hoping he understands. Okay. Um, there's another thing that really makes me feel. I mean, there is, it seemed before that I felt that the two gods had sort of split from Genesis of chapter one and then chapter two, it was like another god because you get the story and then it's kind of shift in a way. So, but there is something else that I observe that I am talking about waters because God called the creatures out of the waters. When we're speaking of vibration or numerical values, as I have showed that number five, I'm not going to do much of the, the figures now, but Eve is number five. And I found a striking um, correlation in the scriptures even in chapter genesis of chapter one and if i may go on um with um five so there there is god and god um said let us make man in our own image and likeness and this is and let them have dominion over the fish that's one over the fish of the sea, that's one, and over the fowl of the air, two, and over the cattle, three, and over the, the earth, four, over the earth, four, and over every creeping thing that creepeth, creepeth upon the face of the earth. So that would be five. Now I found that very um, intriguing that it should be five things that um, God before creating man or in the plan that it would be that man would have dominion over these things. Dominion over the fowl of the air, the dominion over the cattle, the flock, the birds, the earth, and everything that creepeth upon the face of the earth. The earth seemed to have two faces somehow. Yes, upon everything that creepeth upon the face of the earth. And then there is another part over the earth. And this word over, what's all this about? These five overs. That's where cricket comes in. Overs. Five. Everything. Let's see. So we have over, hover. Let me see the numerical value for the word over. Which, of course, if it had an L, would be lover. Now, of course, free. The L is free. L is free. E L E L L E L E L is free. Isn't E L a, a term for God? So meaning God would not be over the fish of the sea over it's like it's so many thoughts are coming to my mind. It's um, over. It's like saying, um, mayday, mayday, 
over, you know, um, I am just seeing where the deriv the der oh, okay, the derivative of the word, um, the five overs, okay. I think I ought to be a detective, really. Okay, so we have over L. L is missing. It would be lover. Why didn't God just give us lover over the earth? Because he's meant to be a God of love. But the L is missing. To have dominion over to have dominion and say lover of the earth lover of fish lover of cattle now over okay oh there's a scripture that say god is not a god of confusion but it really makes me wonder perhaps which god are we talking about okay over O V E R. Let's just see. Um, I hope you can see this here. So this is nine, and it has the fifty nine, of course, like in the beginning, which is nine and five. Over, over is the reverse. Over, okay, five, four, six, okay, over. This is really interesting. Why five overs? What ball games was God playing there? Or was there two gods playing cricket? Saying over. 10, 19, 24. 24. Is there something about 24 overs? Okay. 2 plus. So 2 plus 4 is 6. Now, in cricket, this is interesting. I mean, this is really, really interesting. In cricket, if I am correct, the highest point or do we call it round or over, over, is a six. It's a six. So when you throw, you do your overs or you do the highest score. This is what I mean. In any over is a six. What is going on? So, who would have thought that there would be a principle of cricket in Genesis of chapter 1, verse 20 or 21 or whatever, overs, this is really interesting. So basically, five, meaning we, so it's like we are five and there's a game, there's a game going on. There is a, a game and we don't know the rules of the game, it seems like. Oh, got to take the glasses off again. So it would be about um, the 26th verse. Now the 26, isn't that the number of God, 2, 6, 2 plus 6, and in the Jewish calendar, the Jewish, um, uh, I think it is in the Jewish um, doctrines, that 26 equals God, is the number of God, and this is where the overs are, on 26. And I'm also very curious to um, to examine this over. 
this is really interesting. Now, I'm not making any assumptions right now, but I am beginning to think that if the E, of course, or EL was there, it would be giving it away to say that the L God has been playing cricket. So it's not included the L, Elohim, El Shaddai, the name for God, that L. It's not there because the L would have included within it lover, which would have been nice to have five lovers. Well, I'm not saying that I would, <laughs> but of course we have five senses. We could make them our lovers. The E denoting Eve or the five and the three for the vibrations equal vibrations three it's not there but over five overs i'm not i'm really just so intrigued about that now um if we look at the word um over i'm trying to see of course it has ev in it that would kind of denote eve as well but that's not there the O is there because over, of course, something is going into a, another direction. It could be over your head this way. And this is perhaps really meant to go over our heads. Over is, of course, head is nine. And then we have six. Of course, as I have said in my previous um, presentations, six also denote nine. When we do the numerical value for the word nine, it equals six, exactly 24, and it's six. So it's I'm getting the impression in that particular verse, which is denoting the verse of God, it was 26. Let's just look at it that way. Two plus six is eight. It's, it beckons an investigation of, as I say, that eight, which coincides with that wisdom, that eight. Of course, wisdom is in the mouth. It is way deep in the mouth. This is what Eve, or the Eve, had eaten of the fruit of the tree of life, hair, and found wisdom. And she knew it was good. She knew it was good. Good, of course, is also five. Hence they say, staying alive. Okay. And opening the third eye. We have seen that when we do the numerical value for the word eat eight, it equals eight. The mouth is five. The wisdom, meaning wisdom, I think, is 11, which is also denoting, of course, two, two singles. Of course, we have wisdom, two, on either side, there's two. Two meaning a channel. If we have 11, it's like a channel, a road, a gullet, a passage. like two eyes, two nostrils, taking us into a destination. But the five, of course, which denotes Mother Eve, it's as if whatever replication was done, which I am saying that now, of course, and if I am mistaken, I am quite happy to retrieve those thoughts or transfer or modify whatever it means that I need to do or delete and cancel rather those thoughts and 
have some other conclusions, but for now, because I I enjoy this process intuitively, and of course, calling on water and revelation, I do acknowledge that this is a journey and this is a path, like the channel here. And so what looks like a path right now might look like a, a snake tomorrow, let's put it this way whether that makes sense to you or not. But five overs. I want the divine spirit to enlighten me on these five overs. Because, of course, there's the five overs. After God saying, let us make man in our own image and likeness. Of course, there would have been another, which many have associated to Christ. Now, that would coincide because Christ also equals waters, the same numerical value as five, as Eve. And as I say, sons often want to um, reflect the teachings of their mothers when they have a wife. They know what to expect or have some inkling of what to expect. Just like God here in the scripture say, just like this, it's like saying, and let the waters bring out creatures the creatures that have life, meaning there would be some dead ones. Life is five. The word life equals five. The word waters equals five. So there is a union like we have the hand, the fingers, and the mouth. Fingers, finger is five mouth is five and that would be in direct correlation because this is what we do we eat eat with our fingers our mouth there's that direct correlation nothing comes into its into consciousness unless it finds something like itself on which to attach itself to meaning direct vibration the correlation of that vibration is on the same frequency and so the god hair calling things into life the things that have the creatures that have life abundantly they would have that same five vibrations because when we do the numerical value for the words waters, for the word waters, okay, let's do this. I didn't want to take this off, but we'll have to take this step by step. So waters is nine. We are dealing with the nine and fives. Five, oh. In that let's just see okay let's try this one again okay and two one five so this is 14 and 2 16 17 18 19 20 3 23 2 plus 3 is 5 now if we do life I'm still trying to get hold of a pen that Right, so okay, let's try this one. Um, so life, L-I-F-E. So this is five, six, nine, three. Okay, so that's 11 and 9, 20, 23. 23, two plus three is five. So there we have the waters. The creatures, I'm not going to do the numerical value for creatures right now, but those that have life, 
Let them come out abundantly. So let us create man. I am getting, and I believe I am getting the distinct impression that this is not this scripture, Genesis of chapter one, is a joke. Oh, it does make sense now. It's like a new Exodus was taking place, the new beginning of the Exodus, new beginning meaning there had been a destruction, maybe. So this is not this hair. It's like, for instance, even with light, we hear um, there was some part of the scriptures where the sun didn't shine and and whether it was Joshua or one of them, they prayed or whether it was for rain. I think it was rain. They prayed for it to rain. It hadn't rained for many years. They prayed for it to rain. So we are talking about water here. Um, thinking about the light, but the water, the light came from the dark. So if there was darkness already, when God said, let there be light, meaning the light had already existed, but God said, let there be light. Because it's just like we know everything we need to create. It's already exists, but we need to form them, bring them into order so we can give them a name. I can feel the energy above my head. It's just so much to, to digest. Now, I wish I could say that this is really delicious, but it's as if I'm beginning to think really that there's... Someone knows this, or I'm not sure why I am thinking that Perhaps my mind has not got the capacity to really digest this, but I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to delete that thought. It's, there's the inkling to say, who are you to be able to, to argue this? Who am I not to? I am going to readdress this. Let us begin this Genesis. Let us see where we are coming from. It's, I believe that everything breeds after its kind, scripturally speaking, and that the experiences that we are having, not getting a clear indication of where we are coming from, who we are, even in our ancestral um, beings or um, parents, guardians. I believe that that is a seed that derives from even the scriptures, the sense of lost, not knowing exactly who we are, but perhaps we can permit ourselves to explore as far as we can. Now, going back to um, the, we call it a theory with seven bomber, um, inner standing, I think he calls it, yeah, I, but I like that. So there we have spoken about five overs, but seven is talking about the inner standing. So there would be balls thrown over our heads, ball, B-A-L-L, -L. that would be um, ball. 
ask B A L L um, is six, seven, eight, nine. That equals nine. B is two. A is one. That's three. And the L, so that's nine. So ball is nine. We are talking about nine. And there we are talking about overs. Why would I be doing a presentation on the number nine and find a, such a correlation with ball and over? So what did I say over? Over actually is, we could say over is actually nine. It's six, six overs. Okay, it looks like I'm knocked out for six on this one, but not completely. Join me again for my second part of this um, presentation on over, five overs. Now, why not six? Because that God would have been out, out of the game. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you have found this as ent entertaining as I have or insightful. Of course, there's so much to explore around this um, ball games and overs. So we see how cricket, we are going to explore the word cricket as well. There is a creature called cricket too. And I think it has six legs. I'm going to explore this and it's a green. We have, well, you could have green or brown crickets. Let's see. I'm going to explore this. We are having fun. We're going to have a ball with this. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you like this presentation, click the like button and share. Because this is how we do it. We share to actualize in self-full love. Stay blessed, stay bright, be a field because we are planting new seeds, even with ball games. Okay. Thank you. Namaste. And spill over with love.